Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. I had a free train ride from Valencia to Barcelona, checked into a small six-person dorm room, saw the Columbus Museum, Arc de Triomphe, the Cittaduela Park, ate Italian food for lunch, I know, weird in Spain, a five euro dinner to wake up and just be having a morning, folks. I've been trying to upload a YouTube video for over a day and a half and I think it's just distracting me from like everything else that's going on so I'm not as like organized, I'm on top of it and I haven't been sleeping properly. Made sure I got to the bus on time because I'm trying to make a tour for 11 a.m. which is like the first time I've actually had to be anywhere by a specific time. I made sure to run to grab the bus and of course I forgot a mask and the bus driver wouldn't let me on and also my car this morning didn't work you know it's just one of those mornings so I told myself I was about to cry because I find when I'm tired I just get really emotional it's coming up again and I just told myself to take a deep breath to go back I got my mask I'm gonna message the tour guide people and see where their first stop is instead of meeting them at the meeting place because I won't be there on time now and I hate being late. It's like my biggest pet peeve because I'm a person I know I can be on time. Anyway, we are doing a tour today. If we make it, I'll probably come home and honestly have a siesta because I'm just not feeling myself. My body just feels off. There's two more things that are just not going my way this morning. I broke my face powder. Women, you know what I'm talking about. So that's all over the floor. I tried to clean it up best I could. And then second thing is, I do not know where I put my jewelry from last night. Like I had two necklaces on, two rings and earrings, and I can't find them because the bins under the bed are like, just like a compartment under the bed, not a drawer. So I literally have to get on my stomach to find things at the back. I think it's in there. <sighs> So I jumped on the same bus that I should have before and it should have been about seven stops at 20 minute ride. Nope, 20 minute ride to some place I don't know where I am. And it like wouldn't stop. We rode for so long before it actually stopped. So I just got off, I don't know where I am. I'm gonna try and jump on the train, which I think it's gonna use up one of my tickets again and follow where the free tour should be headed toward. Honestly, it's a lost game today. I don't know what's in the air and I forgot to put on deodorant, which I know is weird, but it's just like one of those normal things you just, I'm not feeling myself. We're en route to the cathedral. It's 11.30. Y'all, I am an on-time person, and I really mean that. Like, I'm the five minutes early type, and I don't know what's going on today. I am just out of whack. I also think it's because I'm not having, like, a full breakfast. I need brain food. I probably need more water. Probably need more coffee. I think I'm gonna eat the granola bar that's in my bag. Just give me a little bit of fuel. I slept okay, less snoring. Not a marathon of snorers. Just tossing and turning all night. Like I haven't dreamt in like two weeks, which tells me I'm not having good sleeps. Cause when I have a good sleep, I have like very clear, vivid dreams.
according to my research and the fact that I should be here with the tour group, this, I believe, are the four arches where a Roman, here we go, remains of four arcades of one of the adequates. Roman times. back and forth whether I just give up on finding these folk or go see Sangria Familia or I go back to my hostel and chill and catch the 3.30 tour but I've already seen like half the sites that are on this tour so I figured I'll just be my own tour guide. I'm gonna follow the list of what we would have been going to and if I happen to run into a yellow umbrella I'll join in. But otherwise it's really nice just to walk these beautiful streets of Barcelona. We are in the Saint Pierre de la Pulas Cathedral, a Catholic cathedral, much more brick. My quick reading was that it's a 10th century Catholic church and perhaps had some torches on it. It was from the year 945, and perhaps was not complete until 1835. It's a cute little plaza. This is the El Born CCM. I don't know what that sounds like, but Central Market. It's free to enter to go inside. It's really interesting because it talks about the old market space, how it came to be, what um, that they do have detailed records of where the families lived and the archaeologists have actually been able to put together you know three four hundred years of information it's really interesting I like how they laid out they have like signs in front of you as you look down it's hard to match the two but I found the descriptors really great and it's in English and it's free so win 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 sitting and having lunch at Jose de la Moreras, which is a square dedicated to those of the fallen Catal Catalon War in 1714 and the statue this red flame is considered an internal flame to in their honor say thank you today's lunch is at Vegetalia which again was a happy cow find but the location is pretty sweet my daily content. Yeah. Alright, to start we got un yeah. empanada, which I believe is spinach. I forget what else is inside, but... <laughs> Not as good. For any of my friends that know Amy's burritos, it kind of tastes like that. Then also we got a vegetarian paella, which is pretty special because usually you have to have two people to have paella. So I'm quite excited that by myself, I can get my own. It looks so good. So that plaza that we were sitting in is a memorial site for the fallen soldiers and people who have defended Barcelona and Catalonia in 1714. And while I was sitting there, I actually got a free rose from the memorial site president because they had them left over from St. Jordi Day, which was yesterday, which is basically their Valentine's Day. And so I said, sure, and then he gave me a booklet about some geographical comparison from the 1930s. So we're gonna read that, but I'll take the leftovers. Okay, 
right? I feel like I've seen everything I can that would have been on the walking tour, minus knowing some of the historical information about some of the landmarks, but I'm kind of over it. Lunch was delicious. The Gothic quarter and Gothic area is very cute and aesthetically pleasing to walk around. But now I'm gonna head, I'm gonna get back on the metro and go to bakery that I saw on TikTok that seems to be quite famous. So I'm hoping it's not too busy this afternoon. Hope everyone else is out having lunch. It looks like a beautiful local park. This neighborhood is definitely a little bit more suburban. It's quieter. I'm really enjoying just seeing families and elderly people out and enjoying the sunshine. But I went to El Devan Bakery. El Desvan Bakery. Desvan. <laughs> and I saw them on TikTok a long time ago. And so we're here to try their cookies. They are not vegan. They basically are just jumbo. Frickin cookies. This one is an Oreo one. Mm. I'm first hit just with a sugar rush. Inside is soft and gooey, almost like cookie dough. If you're a person who likes crunchy cookie, I don't know if this one would be for you, but I've always liked kind of raw cookie dough cookie. So far just like a shortbread, basic batter, pocket chip recipe kind of batter. They did bacon it. Oreo inside of the cookie. Wow, once you get to the Oreo bet, it's good. The next one I got is chocolate, I think, macadamia nut or hazelnut. I think hazelnut and some dark chocolate. It's like a pound. Mm. I'm getting almost a alcohol flavor. I didn't understand the full sign in Spanish, so I thought it was like, you know, your classic like dream lovers or reverse cookie. Instead, what flavors are coming through for me? Definitely chocolatey, but almost that fruity alcohol flavor. It's very popular in German baking. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Let's have one more bite. The second bite, we're getting more nut flavor. Still that undertone of like fruity alcohol. I would say I like Cookie number one better than two. I like the Oreo better than the chocolate. That being said, they are both huge. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat them all, but I had to try more than one. I have a few more bites of the Oreo and then save them for later and hope they'll last a few days. There is lots of little babinos and babinas, and a lot of them are crying. Still my hostel bed. I'm unfortunately not feeling so well. I have a sore throat and it's kind of just, it's like in my, in my throat and kind of going into my chest and a little bit of a stuffy nose. I'm triple vaxxed, I've had COVID before. I'm supposed to fly to Paris tomorrow and then I'm also gonna be staying with an older family member. And so just to be safe, I just booked 45 euro, which is like $60 COVID antigen test just to be safe and make sure what's going on is whatever it is. It's 1138 and I have only gone to the washroom come back <laughs> because I just don't feel great. But I was hoping to go to Sagrada Familia today the last big thing on my Barcelona bucket list, you could call it, slash I should probably find myself some food. <laughs> Got an appointment at 4.20. Hopefully it's nothing and it's just run down and I can rest a bit today. So, but that's the fun of traveling right now. Wake me up and two, two, clean me up.
Currently standing outside Sagrada Familia, which is quite the the thing. It doesn't look like any kind of cathedral you've ever seen. The detail and the persons and the portraits of the building is quite fascinating. And its 3D or dimensional shape is really, really interesting. I won't be going inside because it costs 30 euros. Not for me. The detail in this thing is insane. Up there, they you know, look like rounds, but there's sparkle to them. There's wording along the pillars. At the very, very top, we see some more mystical. They have a cross up there. They're obviously going under, it's going under through some um, restoration. It's just very dimensional. Like right here, it's so deep within it. It's a little futuristic, yet it's old. <laughs> This is the backside of Sagrada Familia. A little bit more gothic looking. Less futuristic or modern. It's obviously super busy in this neighborhood too. It's hyper touristy. And it's a Monday. Look who I found!